Hi and welcome in this video. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can in a clean Linux OS after you already download the server set up fast download on the same OS. This means you don't have anything external to pay or download. You can just make it on OS operating system by the way in long fast download for free. You have just to execute a couple of comments. It's really not that complicated as for test purposes. I just have this CS 1.6 map of CSGO and I'm gonna put this now on my server like you would do and then you will fast notice that it will be slow download so here you can see that's the map files and I'm gonna transfer all the map files on my server this is my server you can see in Winscape that's my files and I just make copy paste I think I can't copy paste wait so here and then you just do drag and drop for example this map now after you're done, what I'm gonna do is basically restart the server and what is the map name? Let me see. It's cs underscore agency underscore csgo. So let's connect to my server. And you will see slow download. If you have such a download, all your players are gonna leave. So what we basically do now is set up a website in quotation marker website which ngx you can also do it with apache for example and then we just basically make a simple website which does absolutely nothing except just making the files accessible via the web because then we can link it inside the server cfg and then transfer the files in game so the people then download it via the http the files and that's why it's faster that's the whole purpose of it so what you're gonna do is um, execute a couple of commands it's not that many so first of all always execute update and upgrade and by the way this yes is just that you don't have to type manually it by the way I'm using uh, for this example Ubuntu 24 0 0.4 I think it is yeah if I remember correctly basically the newest Ubuntu that's what I'm using but it should be pretty similar on Debian. Now, after you're done with the installation, we just type sudo apt install ngx and then so that we don't have to manually agree during the installation so it doesn't stop, we write this at the end and just hit enter and that's it. Now you can see we're done. So the first what we now do is changing the location here. Now you can see slash wa slash vvv. That's basically the path where the websites are then all stored. By the way, you can in the similar way do actual websites. Of course, if you can code. So now we type ls and now you can see an HTML. It's the uh, example site of ngx, which I can show you. Because if it works, you can simply check, enter you. IP and you can see welcome to ngx so this means it worked and now we can continue and I make no mkdir this is the comment for creating a new folder and I call it fast download so it's clear that these are the fast downloads now I go inside it and that's then basically where we will, we will place the files in our server it's exactly the same path now you can see the folder we just created and what we do now is just don't copy and paste because now if you have multiple servers you want to write usually something like this for example for your classic server you write cs 1.6 classic and then you write in each of the folder i just make it now for example purposes for example if you have a zombie mode server you can it write like this and on each server that's the important part you have to write cs strike and inside this CS strike folder you just do drag and drop that's basically it like that's all and now the only what's left is to make the, uh, the folder fast download accessible via, via the web and that and this you can do with your ngx server block the ngx server block is usually located at I know it already without looking to be honest because it's so many websites it's here located but you don't even have to enter the website, you can just make sudo nano, nano is by the way for 
going inside a file, like a text editor, a simple text editor. Then you write the location, which is, as I already explained, inside sites available. And now you write the server block name, which is fast download, so the name of the file, but also the name of the server block. And now you just do a new server block like this, that's then a server block, and then you basically type list 80, then you write server name, which will be your, you can of course theoretically do this with a domain, but now for the uh, purpose of, to make it not too complicated for you, you can just write your server IP. And my server IP is in this case, this. Now we type root, why? By, because we tell no ngx that the uh, website main folder is fast download. Location slash auto index on, this is important. Then this is no, not a must, but I just do it. This make it more human readable, the sizes you will see then later on. And auto index local time on it's also not that important and then if a uh, access log and a uh, error log but basically for example in error log the errors get displayed i mean that's pretty obvious <laughs> and we can here write just as standard path and then fast download access log and here bar log ngx fast download error log that's also it here and did I something forget you don't have to but I just do it for completion reason reasons and that's pretty much it if I don't forget anything so the server is list on 80 that's the port server name here you would uh, either write an uh, IP address or domain. The root of the website in uh, index this is basically if you write it like this, like I write, which doesn't have really a reason, but I just did it. For example, if you place on your path a index.html, it will display this file basically on each folder. Auto index that's the open important location basically just location slash means the whole server the whole path reveals it reveals the items the files in the public then you type the location of the website of the file I mean which we just created which is ln and minus s Also what you can do is to remove the default file we just uh, seen and since we remove the default file we can also remove the HMTM, you don't need it. And then we can type ngxt, basically you could already start it but then maybe you get an error. This basically just checks if everything is alright and you can see syntax is okay, test is su suggest fully. And this means we can now start the server. It, by the, I mean restart. And that's pretty much it. Now we can make the test. Since we made it on the same path, we can just reload it and you can see CS 1.6, here's everything empty, CS strike and here are all your files. So, and what you just have to do is here, I also, everything what I copy and paste, and every single command I will also write again in a file which you can see either in the description or you see a comment which are the copy and paste files. In this case these settings are already good, that's for my real server. Allow download, that's important. Then allow upload zero. That's by the way because um, I don't want to have custom sprays in my server. But so. And file transfer compression, also make it one. So it makes it shorter, the files. That's really good for players. So what we're gonna do is, as I said, you just do copy paste. You press hit enter, copy and paste. And you hit it here and you press save. 
and done. That's it. And each time you wanna add and upload new models, new maps, all what you have to do is to drag it here inside your CS strike folder like you would do in offline mode and after this additional in your fast download here. So you have basically just to drag and drop it two times. If you do it, you're done. It's correct. You're done. You have nothing else to do. That's basically it. So if you do it a couple of times, this is maybe 10 seconds more work you have. And if you, and the videos may be a bit long because I explain a lot, but to do this fast takes maybe three minutes. If you did everything correctly, like I showed it you in the last video. So what we're gonna do is just it no test it. And for this we go again to our server. We make the same map. Here. And for this we type our IP again. And we connect. And you see it's fast tomblot. And you're done. That's it. That's the magic and you don't have to pay extra, you don't have to pay anything. It's free and it's free and better than any service which provides you does. Because I know that some pre-installed game hosting services uh, charge for that $5 a month. So I hope you liked the video. If yes, leave a like and a sub. Join our Discord server and website and see you next time. Bye.